Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to transfer sludge from the thickener into our sample containers so then we can uh, work on them and condition them. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add different doses of polymer here using this plastic syringe and then we will use a stir bar right here and we will be stirring this up and seeing which dose actually will cause the uh, sludge to kind of coagulate and separate the water because what we're trying to do is uh, remove as much water as possible and then what we're going to do is use one of these paint filters and uh, they make them a lot cheaper now they used to be uh, have more of the uh, filter to them but then we'll put that in the funnel and we'll pour the sludge in there and we'll measure how much water falls into there in a five minute period okay so we're going to add the polymer onto there and see what's happening. So I'm going to add one mil to the first, five mils to the second, 10 mils to the third, and 15 mils to the fourth. So we're adding one mil here of the polymer. And then we're going to stir that up. See what effect that has. Oh, and we can see, look at that. So one mil into 50 mils has done quite a good job here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour this now into the filter. Okay. And we'll time that. Four or five minutes. And see how much water drains from there. And look how much water separated. We had 50 mils. We already got 35 mils. So one of the things we're actually going to try here is rather than one mil, since it coagulated pretty well, I'm going to try a half a mil of, slug, of, of polymer. Okay, so here we go with we're adding a half a mil. See, this is what science is all about. We don't know what's going to happen. So that one we already used. So we're going to use... We're going to stir that up. That's interesting. We've got a lot of action with just a half a mil. Now, one of the things why we do this is actually to find what's the best dose so that we're not using a lot of extra. OK. 
Okay, so we can see over there. Let's see how much water has come out. Okay. Okay, so five minutes are up. So we can look at the level of water that's in the thing. So record your level. And we'll go on to the next sample. And this was with, with one mil of polymer. Okay, so now we've got the one on there that had a half a mil. And so we've got approximately uh, three minutes left to go on that. So we're going to start. The next one we're going to do is add two mils. Here is the reading with the... 0.5 mils after five minutes. Now we're going to add the one with, after we empty that, we'll add the one that has two mils. Okay, and now to our last sample, we're going to add a tenth of a mil. And this sludge, by the way, is from the fish, their waste, the goldfish that we have in the aquaculture system. Okay, so it's now five minutes. And this is the level with the two mils. Okay, and now we are going to add the 0.1 mil sample to the paint filter test apparatus. Okay, now this is the reading with 0.1 mils. After five minutes. Okay, so I want you to record your data in your lab notebook and analyze the data and see which concentration do you think gave the best result as far as removing the most water and the, the quickest.